powders, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever foundation powder, and this is in the color, the number one seven seven. Blind is about right now. This <laughs> light is like so blinding. I'm gonna take that and just put that in my crease, uh, actually right above my crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Forever eyeshadow. This is from the previous, I guess, the older shadow collection. So this is number 103. It's just a peachy kind of color. Using the same brush, I'm gonna go right um, just above the crease, blending into the uh, powder we just put. Still in the crease, I'm gonna go in with Sugar Pills uh, Dolly Pop, which is a very bright pink, as you can see here. I'm not gonna go too crazy <laughs> with it because it's definitely a pigmented, and I just really want a hint. Like that's it. That's all I want, right there. Mm. Gotta dust that off. Sorry, I didn't realize I wasn't recording when I did the other eye. I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream and number two is kind of a gun metal color and I'm just gonna take it on this Sephora. It's a precision shadow brush. If you have a concealer brush, that would be much better, but this is doing the job just fine. And I'm gonna put this all over the lid and just carve out the full shape of my lid or where I wanna put the next color and then bring it out. So you can totally stop here if you want. I think this is actually pretty as it is. Um, a liner, of course, some black liner and some lashes and you are good to go. Definitely throw some black in the waterline um, or your lower lash line, but I'm not gonna stop there. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with Stars and Sugar Pills Soot and Stars. It's a nice gun metal um, shimmery kind of look um look eyeshadow i'm gonna use a sigma large fluff e50 brush to put this on and i see some hairs trying to take away my greatness okay here we go now these sugar pill shadows are definitely potent as well as they can cause a mess sometimes so I'm gonna take a little out of time and then pat this on the lid and hope I don't get any on my face. And when working with these shadows, you do want to make sure you press that shadow in, okay? So I'm going to take a clean blender brush, nothing is on it, and I'm going to just blend out, whew, got stuff on my nails, blend out the gray into the pink, and then once I've blended that, then I'm gonna take a little more of that pink and that peach that's in the crease, and just make sure those colors are blended together.
so now that I had to get my face life back together because that eyeshadow was just taking me places I wasn't ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Sugar Pills Bulletproof if I can get it up and it's just a jet black. I'm gonna go in with an angled brush from Delium Tools and this is number 766 and I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke out my And as you can see, I'm not going heavy, so there's not a black line under there. It's more in the grayish. I'm taking very little, and then I'm just using whatever's on the brush and bringing it over. do a liner I don't know if I'm gonna wing it out I'm just I'm not feeling the wing but I'm using Gerdon's um, just black ink uh, liquid liner and I find this is better to use when I've got shadows that have a little more shimmer that may go on a bit if you will chunky to me I don't know that's like the only word that I could come up with but I find that this liquid liner is better to do over that other than that I use my Kat Von D uh, tattoo liner so I'm gonna go ahead and just line my lash line So for lips, I'm going to use this Katy Perry's, oh, Katy, Katy, Katy Cat, oh sorry, Katy Cat Matte, and this is in the color Perry Panther. It's the black lipstick. Um, there we go. Let's see a swatch. Okay. It seems a bit sheer, so I'm going to have swatches all over my arms. So like here's one swatch. It's just a bit sheer for me. And so I took out my black pencil. I'm gonna line my lips and fill my lips in with black and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this lipstick on. Sometimes depending on the formula or whatever, you're not gonna always get that straight matte full on black. So sometimes you just have to improvise. So I'm gonna go in with Max Feline Eye Coal and fill, if I can get it open, fill my lips in with the black pencil and then top it with the lipstick. 